So we did a high V haul. Look, this one I I'm gonna hand you these and you just take take them out to the deep freeze. I just want to show them um, what we got. So we got this pork loin for sixteen sixty or sixteen seventy six. We got this ten pounds of hamburger for twenty five fifty three. So take these. This one can go in the fridge out there. Actually, you can put them both in the freezer. Um, we're gonna can this pork and we are going to separate this beef and we'll put it in the storage containers. Some bacon, was some sausage. sausage. We're trying to find, we have a beef roast. I wanna get all the meat put away and then we'll go through this a little bit better so you guys can see a little bit better. You got some bacon. Here's the roast. We got some 941 says right there, 941. And a lot of these we have like member deals. Uh, so we get a lot of this cheaper than than what the, the actual price is. Like we've got free, um, we got lots of free things in here too, so. I'll show you what we've got. The, the kids wanted to try these Japanese panda cookie snack things. They look really cool. They're these chocolate panda bites. Here, let's focus the camera on it. That's what they look like. They're, yeah, they're chocolate panda bites and just filled with chocolate. And then there's like a cookie on the outside. I'm going to put these in this freezer in here. And then we got this big thing. This was not on sale or anything crazy. But the kids have liked like cheese balls, these big containers of cheese balls since they were little little kids and I had Ricky with me at the store so so we got them okay so we got a gallon of milk um we used to have goats and we would do our milk we would get I have some of that left so we would milk our goats and have milk from them but we don't have goats anymore not because we didn't like the goats but they seriously were wrecking our fences every single day. They would get out, they would escape. Um, we just did not have the fencing, did we? It was no, craziness. It was yeah, crazy. Uh, so anyways, one day we'll have goats again because we really enjoyed them, but not until we have proper fencing that, you know, maybe is like 10 foot tall. So <laughs> that's how that is. And, Our pantry that's behind me over here is straight up embarrassing. When we first put this pantry in, it was so organized and amazing. And now it's, it's not that bad. Just, yes, it is. Pan over here. There's no organization. Look, up here in this box, I have some baking soda and some couscous. I have some flour and some jasmine rice with some oil. I have spaghetti noodles here. That's not where they go. They go in a plastic thing. I have beans everywhere. I have like baking stuff here that doesn't go here. Packets of stuff. No. And we have like a big storage area out in the garage that I'm not even like putting stuff in. Uh, just out of convenience, it's just easier to throw it right here because we're usually busy and that's what we do with it. <coughs> Oopsie poopsie. Wow. I know. So, um, cilantro, yes. Oh man, this looks pretty. The cilantro selection was ass. This was literally all there was. It wasn't, wasn't it, Ricky? What? Yeah. So we're going to have to make this jasmine rice, um, cilantro jasmine rice, like, tonight. Because it this is not going to last much longer like this. Oh, we got paper towels at Dollar General. We got raspberries. Um, Jake really likes these waters for his lunch. <clears throat> we are going to be making some, I guess, sort of like bulk freezer meals. Not crazy town. Just enough for a meal that we're going to have now and then a couple more meals, you know, throughout the winter time. Just to make it easier on all of us. Got these. Tomato juices for chili. We actually have four of them. Uh, we are gonna, we usually use Mrs. Grimes beans, so it's already got, you know, a lot of the chili flavor in it. Um, but we're going to try to, we have lots of beans. We have kidney beans and pinto beans. We actually picked up some more kidney beans. So we're gonna try to make our own 
um, chili like from the ground up. We did get some seasoning packets that um, I want to try but I also want to try just straight up making the chili on our own just because it's healthier that way and we seriously have all we have cumin we have ch uh, chili pepper like all of it we have all the things to make chili and all of us really like chili and it's about to be cold all the time so chili is a good meal for us to make and then freeze some so four of these showed you the raspberries we're actually going to make some breakfast toaster strudels like homemade ones with some pie crust and make a sweet filling to go in it we've got four of these we got three last night at the store same store that we went to here so I've got those in the fridge we need to get them used up so we'll be making those soon um let's see we have more of these waters and Jake had a cart and I had a cart Every time we go to the store to do a big, like, haul for the month, um, it's a, it's a big process. Like, we get kind of, like, little odds and ends of groceries, especially if there's good deals happening on them. Our grocery store, uh, does, like, weekly deals, so sometimes we have to go back, even though we've got stuff here, we've done our monthly haul, um, like they had 17 cent, uh, corn muffin mix the other day, and... Uh, yeah, just stuff like that that we'll make a trip into the store for. Um, apple juice. We like to have apple juice on hand. Uh, I just keep that in the pantry in here. And the kids like to drink that. Creamers. I love my coffee and creamer is just something I'm never going to give up. It's sugar. I do not eat sugar. <laughs> I don't drink sugar, but this is the exception. I do use creamer. And if you have not tried the Snickers flavor, I highly suggest it. It's really good. But I always get just a small one of these because, like, I like this so much. I could, you could probably drink this. It's so good. It's like chocolate milk. It's very good. We have been trying to recreate. We go to a store, or not a store, we go to a restaurant sometimes. Jake and I used to manage this restaurant chain. Uh, it's called Poncheros. It's a Mexican burrito restaurant and when we worked there you they make all of the ingredients like there's no frozen there's not even a freezer. You don't even have a freezer at this restaurant. There's not a freezer because everything is made fresh that day. Your meat is made fresh, your your um, sauces, your tortillas, everything is made fresh that day and so we know that it's healthy for the most part especially like for a fast food and it's delicious so we got the dupe recipe offline and let me tell you I don't know if they're just like uh, bringing the recipe down a few notches for the white people at Poncheros but it was like burning our mouths off and Jake even likes spicy stuff like likes spicy stuff and it was hurting him <laughs> so um, we are gonna try this adobo sauce instead of the adobo with the um like the chili peppers in it what were they some I think it, I don't know what kind of peppers they were but they were crazy hot it was so hot so we're gonna try it with this after I perfect this recipe and and master it to where it's like the tastes were all there it was just fire and my jasmine cilantro rice was kind of sticky so I need to perfect that too. But once I get that all mastered, I will definitely share how we do it here with you guys on YouTube and over at our blog at nightfallhomestead.com. I promise you, you want to eat this stuff. So good. And that's exciting for me because a lot of times I make stuff for me. Usually I eat like a meat and a vegetable. That's what I eat. And everyone else is eating, you know, garbage most of the time not not most of the time but yes in, if I'm not cooking them a meal from stuff that we grew or stuff that's very like wholesome and and natural and organic like they are eating this and drinking boba tea anyways they they have this like little cute Japan um, section in our store it has these really cute Japanese candies and drinks so we're also gonna try some bubble tea this one is Joyba Bubble Tea, and it is raspberry dragon fruit, dragon fruit black tea. It says no artificial flavors or sweeteners. 
let's see, probably, probably first ingredient sugar. Oh no, ingredients, brewed black tea, boba bubbles, which I think are made with flour, maybe some cornstarch. There's a channel here on YouTube that I love to watch. It's Emmy Made in Japan, and she made her own boba tea. And what is that made out of? It's some sort of like dough. It's like a dough. We should try making our own boba. I've never even had boba before. Um, there is sugar, but it's like way down on the list. Natural flavors, lemon juice. Um, that I mean, there's really nothing too terrible in here, to be quite honest. Okay, let's open one and try it. I'm sure they'll taste way better when they're cold. Oh, did they not give you the straws? Oh yeah, it's on ICM. Man, they thought of everything. The little straw is right here, and then can you see the little... We're gonna unwrap it so you can see it better. It gives us clear instructions. First, we're going to unwrap the body of this. Okay, and we'll get our straw out. Maybe. Okay. Here's our straw. Oh, you can see them floating around in there. See them? Okay, so the back of this says... First, you are going to pull tab and remove straw. Well, we unwrapped the whole thing. And then you extend your straw like right. this. Whoa. And then you poke it down. Good thing, because I was about to open this like a pudding snack. Yeah, you can try it. You don't know how to do boba? No, I've never had boba. I've seen it. Oh, it smells good. Can I have a straw? If they're in your cup. What? Right here. What? Your tab up like this. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> good. So good. See, I told you. <gasps> They're filled with liquid. What? So, this is bubble tea. It must not be the same it's as boba. No, boba, uh, uh I think boba is like a, like a. It's a coffee. No, it's like a noodle almost in there, like a. Wait, this is a straw. Yep. Because they're not filled with liquid. They're just like a, you know, tapioca pudding that has like the little, like chunks in it. Yeah, stab it down in there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, I want to get one of the things. I don't, I don't want to choke on it. No, they're really small. You guys, this is good. See, I picked this stuff up. I got it. I got one of the things. See, I picked this stuff out. Y'all should be proud of me. This is good. It is good. It's cute. And you got like a little handle once you pull out your thing. Right? They really thought of everything. It really does taste good. And it's tea. All, my kids are always like, I don't know how you drink tea. It's so yucky. And tea is not yucky. It's good. Okay, we can throw this tag away. Though. We'll save this one for Ashton to try when he gets off of work. Okay. Uh, we got some peanut butter and jelly. We do lots of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches here when we're like just kind of flying through our days oh, um, and the this? kids are hungry. Yep, you can take that. I'm going to have a bowl. Come on. Um, we got some pumpkin. Watch out, please. This is really good. Oh, yeah, I need to get this ice cream in the fridge, too. We have some pie crust. Um, I, I like making pie crust. It, I mean, it's a kind of a no. tedious process, I guess. Maybe takes a while, but I do like making it. But for these like toaster strudel things that I'm using the raspberries with, um, I want to use these just to kind of try them out. You guys know what I'm talking about? Those Pillsbury toaster strudels. They probably have fancier ones than that too. Um, so I'm going to try to recreate those and use like a, a creamy drizzle, I guess, for the outside. Or we could put the creamy drizzle on the inside too. And I even thought... If I could bake them up and then I could just freeze them and then the kids could maybe just like toss them in the microwave for a minute to warm them up in the morning. So yeah, anyways, three pie crusts. Well, actually six. There's two of them in each one. These are 10 for $3 right now at our store. 
So we got 10 of those. We also got 10 of them last night. They are so good, bro. They are so good. They have these, um, <laughs> Ricky and I were up in the middle of the night. I made that, um, oh, that <gasps> dump I have to get it. Give me some. The dump cake is right here. Ricky and I were up like through the night making this dump cake and I actually um, put the recipe on our website at nightfallhomestead.com. It's super easy. You just toss it in and let it go. <laughs> She's using the guacamole spoon. I don't, there's no other spoon. It's fine, it's fine. There you go. Mm -hmm. You can go to our website, nightfallhomestead.com and yeah, get the recipe for this, super easy. Let's get this out of our way. I actually want to put it in the fridge. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Good. I loved it. Some cream cheese. We always have cream cheese. I still have cream cheese up here. Um, but I'm going to see if maybe we can use these for those raspberry toaster strudels that I want to make. So we'll put that up there with our butter. Um, we'll put these yogurts away as we go along. Some water, pumpkin, that's what I was on. Oh, we've got some more cold stuff here that I would like to, we've got some limes, some fresh limes. I don't remember what the price of these were either, but for the, um, that burrito stuff, um, you need lots of limes for the rice and for the, the chicken, the sauce that you're, the marinade. Uh, these carrots were, what were they, 99 cents? So if you're a member, if you're a member, a rewards member at this store, you get lots of rewards and stuff. I don't know if I've already said that or not. Uh, but these were 99 cents, so we're gonna go ahead and put these down in the fridge. Let's see, feta cheese. You guys, we love feta cheese. Like, we just eat it plain like this. We don't put it on anything, we just eat it. It's our favorite cheese. Like monsters. These are red pears, and Jake just got them to try them. Some shredded cheese. We always use shredded cheese all the time. I use it in everything. I put it in our mashed potatoes. I put it in our quesadillas. We eat a lot of like taco-y, burrito-y food for whatever reason. Maybe it's easy. Everybody likes it. And it's stuff I can eat. More tomato juice for our chili. We also have a... It's good. We have a, a like a goulash recipe. We call it macaroni and tomato juice because that's what my mom called it when we were growing up as kids. It's literally just fried hamburger, um, shell macaroni, small shell macaroni, and tomato juice and some garlic salt and some pepper. And we love that too. We make big batches of that too because everybody loves it. Yes. More feta? Oh, we got feta? Yeah. Because I knew we would eat that one like right away. You would eat that one. Right? No way, bro. She <laughs> was in the truck eating it. <laughs> Why was right beside me? I couldn't resist seeing Anyways, when you put it in, it was like a pound. And the girl saw my face on your live. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what the deal was with these. I can't look because I'm recording with my phone. These were super cheap. They were like half off. What were these? 77 cents or something? I didn't pay attention. They were super cheap. So we went ahead and got them. They're the Toll House um, chunks and then the mini uh, morsels, like the chocolate chips. Now what do I do? Eat it. I'm full. See if Memphis will try it. She said no. Memphis, try this cake! Evaporated milk. Oh, such a you guys, you should always have some evaporated milk and some condensed milk. Maybe even some dried milk. For multiple reasons, but mainly to bake with or cook with because... It's going to be some rainy, cold winter day, night, and you're going to be making an amazing recipe that you found on Pinterest or wherever, and it's going to call for one of those things, and you're either not going to want to go out just for that, or you're going to uh, go out just for that. Either scenario is not amazing, so just make sure you always have a few cans of those in your pantry. Okay. We make this nacho cheese dip that the kids really love uh, and we use Rotel for that. 
So we got a couple of cans of Rotel. Fun story, there's original Rotel, there's mild, and then there's hot. Well, you tried it. The original Rotel is spicy. So we were just getting the original for the longest time. And it was oh, like, the one on the cheese did? It was hurting our face. It was so hot. So make sure you get the mild if you are a little sensitive to <laughs> the, the hotness of the things. We are very um weenie when it comes to hot stuff. Not you Jake. are weenie. No, we all are weenie. No. Me especially, yes. yes. You're right. That's our stop. Okay, so some more pumpkin puree to go with our evaporated milk. Red kidney beans. Sugar was on sale. Good job, Lou. Also, I'm done with this and Good. Thank you. tricked medicine to try and take it away. Yeah. Well, did you use soap? Okay, so hot water twice. Okay. And then rinse with clean water. Yeah, it goes on this shelf right here. Yeah, I checked it because I was like, well, like Mom in the pot? To make you yeah, Jake can eat that. He'll like it. You want the rest of this? What it's is not it? that pumpkin dump, pie. dump cake. All right. Dump cake? Yeah. Oh, dump pie. Big thing of peanut butter. Enjoy my spoon. For for all of our peanut butter and jelly. Just sandwiches. My spoon. We also make peanut butter cookies. We make um we make power bites. Mm. You Man, know. we can make power bites with the mini chocolate chips. We have Baby, those try too. this bubble tea. It's good. It's so good. I picked it out. Thank me, my guys. Half calf coffee because I drink lots of coffee, so we only do half calf in the afternoon. <laughs> He's like, what the? <laughs> so I think that's different than boba tea. I think boba tea is kind of like a, like a little piece of dough, kind of like a dumpling, like, like a dumpling, eye. a sweet oh, dumpling. I thought it was butter. You thought it was a bug? <laughs> cool, huh? It tastes good. And the ingredients aren't bad on that at all. And sugar's like almost the last ingredient. The first ingredient is legit tea. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. Ashton will be like, I don't like it. And the straw comes in the cup. Nice. We didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to open it like, yeah. open. like a yogurt bomb, well, like an American. How you, what do you mean? Where's the straw? It was a straw. Yeah. sits right here, and then you un. You oh, I see it. Are pull they it all out. The same flavor? Yeah. Yeah. They had different flavors there, didn't they? They only had one. Uh, yeah. Anyways, then you stab it in. But the ones that Emmy made, um, it was kind of like a tapioca, like in a tapioca pudding. Yeah. Don't okay. break that. I call this. Well, Ashton's not getting any, but. It's okay, he went to Casey's. Um, okay, so half cap coffee. I don't know. No, he went to Casey's for lunch break. Picked up a, a cake mix because gonna sometimes eat we have dump cake. Mm -hmm. And I thought um, there's also a big deal on black berries. Was it blackberries? The raspberries are free. Raspberries, blueberries. Was it blueberries? Yeah. So I want to get some of the blueberries too. Maybe next week. I want to get some of this cycled through and see where we are with our food uh, before I get any more like stuff that needs dealt with with some urgency. And I want to try to make some stuff with that. Um, some cheese. Don't mind some me. Cheese, not cheese. What else do we have? Garlic uh, powder. That is for our chili that we're gonna make. Oh no. Oh. This is all just yogurt. Good yogurt. And some lunch meat for Jake's lunches. Ooh, these are really horrible quality lunch meats. They were the cheapest. Yeah, and the worstest. Yogurt. Worstest, Mom? That's yes, not worstest. Like four meat. Yeah. Mechanically separated turkey. Let's see what this one is. Beef contains up to a 15% up to 15% of a flavoring solution of water salt, less than 2% of uh, dextrose, potassium, lactate, spices, sodium, blah blah blah, sodium something else, sodium something else, and natural flavoring. So yeah. No, I mean, why can't why can't we just like cook you these meats and then like thinly slice them ourselves? I just think it's not a good idea. Smoked, chopped, pressed, cooked. Contains up to 15% of a flavoring solution. I feel like they're putting that in there because some people are probably like, what is going on with this? Mm. This does not taste like pastrami. 
Okay, what else do we have? Oh, this was a really good deal. So these were a dollar seventy-seven, a party size, and so was the or the family size. No, party size in the party size salsa. A dollar seventy-seven. That's a pretty good deal. We got these stupid ass store-bought burrito shells. I really want to make the burrito shells for our, our Ponchero's burritos that we're trying to do. Um, but for now, until we, I'm, I want to master the chicken and the rice first. Hey, that's mine, show them. This is Ricky's ramen that's super duper unhealthy, but she loves it. It's and cheesy, I get it it's every It's only birthday. a dollar. I get it every um, Yeah, so all of this is yogurt. We'll go ahead and have Ricky put that away for us. Says you. Says me. And more ramen. You guys, I know ramen is not healthy. I know that it is ass. But it's my kids and Jake worship the ramen gods. Like, they love... Hey, yo, dude, not that much. No, this is legit. Like, I've even... They have these um, ramen kits at these stores in the mall. Don't they? Straight up geared to just ramen lovers everywhere. They have... Like, they're cute, though. They're cute, like, ceramic bowls oh, no, with these chopsticks. Trump I know, and I kind of want to get some for them because they eat ramen so much. Memphis has a pickle pillow. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? We have cereal. Cereal is on sale. This, the Post brand cereal, is on sale three for five dollars. So we picked up three of them um, today. We also picked up three of them last night. So ten dollars for six boxes of cereal. So that's a good deal. We also got this macaroni and cheese. We got the last one last night. We did not get this one today. Um, it's Kraft macaroni and cheese, and it ended up being 50 cents uh, per pack. There's five boxes in here, and you can't even get, like, the cheap. Look, I'll show you. Get, get one of the cheap macaronis. That, that smart one down there, down over there, the white box right in front of you. So these are, like, I don't know, 70 cents or something like that. And we get a lot of them because they're quick and easy. The kids make them themselves. They don't need my help to do them. I do. Sometimes we do. <laughs> she doesn't. She just needs me to be in here, like, entertaining her. Um, anyways, get out of here with your pickle. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> get out of here, though, for real. Look how, look how shit my pantry is. I just really have to get a grip on things. My God. You guys don't even want to see my dining room table with the craft stuff that's on it. Oh. And there's <laughs> even groceries on it, so. It's all good. Just shh. Shh. Because it's going to be really cold soon, and going to the grocery store is not going to be my favorite thing to do. I like this. Plus, food prices are going up and up and up and up, so we just keep, like, getting things just in case, you know. It's always so, just in case. Plus, I have, like, adult children that always need food, so they can just, like, come shopping at our house and right. get groceries. Yeah, Raylan's always coming and getting food. And then she just leaves and doesn't even say hi. <laughs> so, I mean, we still feed them, too, when they are running low on money and need some food. Anyways, these ended up being cheaper per box than these usually are. We got the last one last night. So, <laughs> that was super exciting. We got... What else did we get? You should try this. We did get a 12-pack of pop. I usually only get the kids pop on the weekends. Um, and sometimes not even that, because I really dislike pop. I think it is poison. It poison. poison. Oh, we got not. a red onion for our, um, <laughs> so meat. Sour is this this meat? Meat? Oh my god. Okay, this chicken is frozen, though. This is, listen, listen, it's not really frozen. It's almost thaw, but it was, like, thawing in the yeah. cart or the shelf at the store. And I wanted some chicken that wasn't a whole solid chicken. Please don't do that. That wasn't a whole <laughs> solid chicken that we butchered and we put in the freezer because those don't thaw quickly. And I want to make this like tonight. I want to try making this chicken recipe again tonight. So I wanted something quick and easy. So we ended up getting this Heidi brand chicken. It was like $8 for two big breasts. Oh, um, my game finally loaded. See? It says it was raised with no antibiotics. Fed all vegetable diet, verified animal welfare program, and they were cage free. And then it has a bunch of asterisks next to it. See? My game loaded. Um, they are free to roam. They are not confined to cages. Hatched, raised, and harvested in the USA. I mean, so that makes me feel a little bit better, right? <laughs> Rather than having chickens like stuffed in a sad 
building, you know? Okay, and then we only did one of our Dollar General scenarios. This tastes different. I'm probably gonna eat that. If we need to cut this minute steak. Will you hold this, please? Oh, there's food in it. Mm -hmm. Got it. What do you need? Um, this is clean. It probably could stand to be cleaned again. Okay, what was this it? Is that fire cider. Ew. Is that in the fridge? Yeah. I'm not gonna make fire cider if nobody's gonna drink it. That shit was nasty. Yeah. Family like, friendly. The fire cider. <laughs> we are family friendly. Real family swear, Ricky. Um, school doesn't let me swear, so you're yeah. family. Anyways, these are some cube steaks that I made. It was really good, the gravy and stuff in them. And nobody's eating them right now because we keep making um, burrito stuff. So I'm going to freeze them so that way Jake can thaw them out and have them later on a rainy day or can whatever. I make this? Yes, you can make that. <clears throat> okay. What was I going to say though? Oh, our fire cider from last year, it just was not good. I, I don't know. I think it's because we put garlic in it and onions. Yeah. We like have to something, find something in it that wasn't. Like you maybe added something to no, it? No, no, there's there's so many different recipes for fire cider. I want a good one though. Like, I want a good one too. That I don't feel like retching every time I even smell it. Because that shit was nasty. Like, yeah. Healthy after you drink is because it's like burning your innards. <laughs> it's gross. If I wanted that, I would drink weed. Right for real. Ta -da. So, oh yeah, that brings me to the dollar store stuff that we got. We did the scenario today. Um, we did get two packs of Viva paper towels, just straight up bought them outright, no coupons or anything. Because Viva are the only paper towels that are worth having. So we did this scenario in my... Yeah, the cloth towels. The other ones are not amazing. They're still better than the others though. Like sparkle paper, paper towels, you just might as well not even have it. Just pretend like you're using a paper towel with your hand. That's what sparkle paper towels are like. Anyway, so we got these slider gallon um, storage bags. We also got the quart size ones. We got trash bags. Don't mind me. Don't mind Ricky. We also got two things of toothpaste. And we got some game dish detergent and a free scope mouthwash and a plumber's hand lotion. Jake, you should put this one in your bag for your hands. Anyways, that scenario ended up being $13. So so for all of this here was 13 bucks. And that's good because these are pretty high price items. These were like four something a piece. So $15 right here just in the in the hefty stuff. So we, we spent less than we would have just buying these like outright. So that was pretty good. So that brings me to this. Now I have a, a big enough size slider bag. The only ones I had left were quart ones, so I couldn't put my uh, leftovers away properly. But now we're going to do that. And that was our high V haul. And this will last for a good while. Um, yeah, like right. I said, well, the reason we go back is because they do weekly deals. So sometimes we have to go back to get the deals that are only good for what? Like four days or something like that. Yeah. Not very long. yeah. Anyways, if you have high V in your area, it's very much worth it to be a Perks member. We actually, there's a fuel saver program, and a lot of these items that you buy at the, the high V store um, have, what is it called? Fuel, fuel saver. Fuel saver on it. And we're up to $1.44 per gallon on our fuel saver card. So, I mean, that's right now like what? Half price and gas, right? Almost, Almost half price and gas. So, worth it. Even if you just use the fuel saver and you didn't go after all these deals like we do, because we're crazy like that, because we have a big family, we need to save money, right? <laughs> um, it'd be worth it just for the gas savings. Anyways, I guess that's all I've got for you guys today. This is a weird video that I don't normally do, just showing you my groceries and I guess my very disorganized pantry. And us. And my children and Jacob and talking about ass fire cider. If you guys know of a recipe of fire cider that isn't yucky, you guys, we have health benefits. We eat garlic and onions and other things. I don't think we need it in our fire cider, you know? So I need a recipe that doesn't taste bad. So the kids would like it too. We have elderberries. We have elderberry syrup. Do we really need fire cider if we have elderberry syrup? I literally just canned some. I have some right here in the pantry. Dusty. See? Elderberry syrup. 
Lots of it. We have lots of it. So maybe I don't need fire cider. Anyways, let me know down in the comments what you guys do for, um, you know, taking care of your body when the winter months have you having the sniffles and maybe heavy in the chest or whatever. I'm going to go now and try to organize my life. Goodbye!